So we got some rather surprising news, Nate, regarding um, Hartford University. So Hartford University is going to be going from D1 to D3 for the athletics, and this is expected to happen in 2025. So basically what's going to happen is Hartford is going to go from D1 to D3. Uh, they said they actually had a quote, and the quote is from David Gordon, the board of Regents chair. He said, and I quote, he said, a move to D3 will allow the university to further strengthen the academic, co-curricular, and wellness experience for all students. While we know this decision will disappoint some members of our community, we remain confident that this shift is in the best long-term interest of the institution and all its students. Um, and yeah, it surprised me because uh, they made it to the NCAA tournament this year, Nate. Uh, they ended up getting beat by Baylor, you know, which is unfortunate. But again, Baylor was, again, the NCAA champions this year. So makes sense. But um, yeah, basically what this move is going to do, Nate, is they did a study and the study said that it could save them $9.2 million per year from going D1 to D3, which is a good thing. However, um, coaching contracts and student athlete scholarships will be honored, but a uh, new athletic scholarship offers will cease in the beginning of 2022-2023 school year. Uh, they Again, they made a surprising run in the America East tournament. They ended up upsetting uh, top seed in that tournament, Vermont. And uh, they ended up beating UMass in the championship to earn that automatic bid in the NCAA tournament. Um, so yeah, Nate, you know what? Let me start off with this. But before I start, I just want to say the source for this article was Jeff Borzello, ESPN staff writer. Look, Nate, I don't agree with this move. I'm being honest. Now, the the good of, the good part about this move is that it could save you nine point million dollars, which I think will do very well for the school. However, from an analytics standpoint, like a sports analyst standpoint. I'm not a big fan of this move. I feel like it's a it's an easy way out. I feel like it's an easy way out. I feel and Hartford had some success in basketball. Again, is it the success of like a Baylor or a UNC or a Duke or a Kentucky or a Gonzaga? No, but they had success. I think they should kind of build off that success. You know, they they were making pro, a little bit of progress in D one basketball. I felt like they should have built it off that progress, opposed to just going to D three. Obviously, D three it's an easier it's an easier division. You know. Is easier. There's a lot easier colleges to play. I just don't think it's the right choice. You know, if they were going to go down one, you know, I still wouldn't agree with it, but I can understand it. But this one, it, it, I feel like it's just the easy way out. But again, you know, it could save them. It could save them money, nine point two million dollars. But at the same time, Nate, you're going to be seizing new scholarships in 2022, 2023. I just don't think that's, you know, I just don't think this this whole thing right now is fair. And like you said, he's going to be disappointing a lot of people. Well, I hope he's prepared for that backlash because of people. I feel like there's going to be people coming out giving him backlash, you know. But again, there's not a lot to this, Nate. Um, again, I wish I I wish Hartford uh, University the best of luck from going D1 to D3. But in my opinion, I'm just not a big fan of this move. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of it either. Although I do understand why they do it. You know, I. Uh, some schools, you know, and, and it's very, very common in high school. You know, a lot of teams go from D1 to D2 because they're just not com competitive enough. Some teams, uh, some some schools do it because, uh, like the situation here, you know, they, they can't get the proper funds or they, they do it to improve, like, the school system and stuff like that. So I do understand why they're doing it. You know, but to anybody that wants to come here and play sports, they're not going to be getting their scholarship because they're going to be – they're going to be ceasing all operations from that from that um scholarships. You know, obviously that's a bad thing. Obviously, you're saving money and you're you're improving the um school system, which obviously is a good thing, especially if you want students to go there. But now, you know, you're dropping the sports down divisions. You know what I mean? So it's it, it, at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot to like, but there's a lot to dislike as well. So honestly. It all comes down to this, you know, I'm, again, like you said, I'm not a big fan of it either, but I do understand why they did, you know, a lot of schools do it, but it's just so uncommon in college, you know, like it's a very, very common thing in high school. You know, I know, um, uh, I know the school we go to, they, they, uh, well, we, or the high school we used to go to, uh, they went up and down divisions in every single sport. You know, um, I think their baseball team, uh, last time I played, we were D1. And we were so bad that we were going to drop to, like, I, I think it was D3 the year after. But because of the pandemic, you know, I think they get more time for that decision. You know, football, their football team dropped from D1 to D3. You know what I mean? A lot of their teams are D3 now because they're just not competitive enough for D1. You know, some schools do do that. But, again, other schools do it for the same situation here. But it's just surprising that it's in college, you know. But, uh, look, that being said, you know, um, 
best of luck to Hartford Athletics, you know, best of luck to the school itself. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what happens.